Welcome back to the Inspire Composites YouTube channel. What I got for you guys today is I'm doing the second part of how to model a supercar in 20 minutes in Rhino 3D. And I'm continuing from that video because what the model is right now is, is very basic and is very simple. Um, and that's where we wanted to start. Just a basic, simple design that has generally the lines that we need. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to define it a little bit more uh, to an intermediate level, not a final level, but an intermediate level. And we're just freestyling. We don't have a we don't have a design drawn up that we're going to follow. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to freestyle a little bit and come up with something that maybe looks OK. Maybe it might be ugly. I don't know. Add on 20 minutes. And we're going to call this how to model a supercar in 40 minutes. And maybe I might do part three and call it how to model a car in 60 minutes. Makes sense. Let's delete some of the surfaces. Let's work with the roof that we have right now. And let's reshape the roof just a little bit. Set two inches. We can define that little area right here where usually they have a side mirror. We'll just put that right there for now. We can also define uh, where that the rear edge of your door is. Okay, that works for us. Let's actually give it some wheel wells. It needs wheel wells. Or it does it doesn't have a lip on there. Let's give it a lip. Drag it out a little bit more. Okay, just drag it out a little bit like that. And we're gonna offset it. 1.15 inches that'll give us a good enough lip curve network curve network okay that's better yep I'm gonna put a bend in it the front part of the lip I'm gonna bend it I'm gonna use transform Bend. Generally, the rule is everything's got to have a slight bend. If something is straight, then something is off. Something always got to have a bend. That's the rules. Those are the rules. So now that we have that, let's mirror it so that that rear part has that bend. Okay. Why is there so many lines on that girl? Let's go with 24. That'll work. That didn't work. Let's redefine this line a little bit. Let's make it more straight. Let's curvy more straight. Let's make it just a little bit more straight. Bring this in a little bit. And we kind of want that line to go and go out that way. Not be straight or going this way, but out that way on a draft angle. That line also has to change, and we're just gonna look at what looks good. Mm -mm -mm. What am I gonna change? Let me start deleting stuff. 
ugly surfaces. I'm going to delete that side. And actually this line here should come up a little bit more. We're going to take this line and bring it down this way. We're going to let it have a little bit of a hump right over the wheel. Let's bring this wheel wheel arc, the top of the fender line, in a little bit. It's too far out. Let's figure out what we're going to do with the back. Let's not delete that. I needed that. Okay, let's mirror those two parts so that we have a better idea of what we want to do with the back. We're looking good so far. Actually, we're going to redo this one. We're going to take that too. And we're going to bring it a little bit lower. Bring this more towards the middle of that wheel wheel. And take this and attach it to the end of those two lines. We're going to mirror that one again. Um, and then let's attach this line because this line should run all the way to the back. We're going to join those two and this line should have a slight hump in it to match the wheel wheel. Okay. Okay, okay, bring this down just a little bit. Let's take this line and attach it somewhere right there. Let's delete this, reattach our lines to our wheel well flange, our wheel well edge, do the same thing over here. Same thing over here. Okay. Let's bring it in. From that side, I don't want it to look like that. I want it to be more like that. We'll bring it out a little bit. And so, our new edge is going to be right there. Hmm, I think we're looking good. Let's bring this down a little bit so that it can match. I don't know how well that looks, but okay. Just make that line there for now. I think right now we're going to start building surfaces 
and whatever parts that we haven't defined yet we'll build them after we get these surfaces defined we need a line at the bottom that continuously comes from this point to this point but it has to be tangent to this at this corner and at this corner let's get where it's perp and then that and then we'll adjust it there's our other line so we want this line to match that line touch that right there 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 and touch that right there and doing that uh, we make sure that our lines stay tangent to the edge so that when we create our surface that that surface is going to relatively be close to this edge here hopefully it works out pretty well if it doesn't we're screwed okay and then let's just split it and see what we got that ain't bad curve network We can use a tool called Merge. We got one from that. We can also this surface and merge with that as well. Let's build up this part. that seems reasonable let's put a few lines to constrain it this one and merge these two we'll work with that let's just make this piece again this piece is very basic but we can add detail later Attach these the end of the pillar onto there. Do a little bit of that. It doesn't have to be exact. And when we get these on, we're going to make the surface from these lines. Very easy. Nothing too difficult. I'm going to add a little shimmy shake in the middle. Make sure there's a little bend. And we're going to make a surface out of that. That's what we needed. There you go. And then you know what we'll do? We shall make the middle piece and to do that we gotta 
get a curve in the middle. Make sure it has a little bend. If I'm a little bit quiet, I just got off from work. So that's that. Split. And then we can move these in. We should split this one too. We have to find the door, so we'll just split this one too. Split. Select the lines. And we have our glass. One, two, three. Move it in about 0.75 inches. That'll do us fine. Does that look a little bit weird? Yeah, but we're not really we're not going for finished products. Let's go ahead and mirror this window assembly that we drew up. Not quite sure if that's the middle, but okay. And we're gonna connect a new line from the ends of the pillar. Then we'll make the middle surface. And we have the top end of the rear done. Let's do the roof. Let's reconnect our Initial line, we're gonna move it, we're gonna connect it to the new A pillar that we did. Oops, oopsies. Things start lagging. All right. We'll do what we did in the rear and we'll add like an accent line that goes down. Give it a little bit of a hard edge. I don't know. Don't ask me that. Okay. That might work for us. Let's draw a line to constrain that surface when it goes through the middle. Again. Put a little bend in it. And draw it out to the side using scale 1D, draw those points out to the side. All right, let's make our surface. That looks pretty good. Let's Go ahead, make our hood. Rear end. Right at this spot. Make it perfect. Draw out these two. Real simple, we'll draw a profile uh, cut out for the rear. We could take that, we can move it in a little bit. Two inches. Let's just cut out a grill. Just real quick, we'll eyeball it. Nothing too serious. Let's cut out some headlights while we're at it. We're gonna cut out headlights. Cars gotta have headlights, right?
Something not too shabby. Right. Mirror that. Hmm. Where's the middle? Okay. Take our two surfaces and we can split them. We can take our headlights, move them down so that it shows. Oh my god! Scary looking, my god. For the rear, let's do this for the rear. Let's keep it real basic. Right, we'll do things real basic. We'll do one of these. Split that surface. But oh, wait, we're not done yet. Let's give it some tail lights and make sure we give it something funky. No, no, no. Mirror that as well. Take our surface, split it, split. Okay. We can bring our, we can bring that in. Set lights, tail lights, those are our tail lights. Let's create the upper windshield edge. We're just going to give it a slight bend. And then we're going to split it. So take that surface, split it. So that is our 40 minute supercar. And what we did was we built, uh, we took our car that we modeled in the first version and we just changed the lines up. We added new lines. We, we made it look more like a supercar. And that's kind of like the building process or the, the designing process of anything. You, it, you have a very basic design and then you change it little by little to make it more intricate and make it look better. And so right now we are kind of like in the middle. There are more things that we can do to it to make it look like a supercar. We can apply better modeling practices, but Overall, we wanted to just model something, just use our creativity and uh, just draw. Just draw without having to worry about how surfaces should be modeled. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys find some use from it and uh, see you later.